Welcome. Now that we have learned about content types and fields, let's put that information to use by creating our own content type of waterfall. Remember, at any time, you can rewind this video or pause it. To help us understand the outcome of what we'll achieve, first I want to give an overview of what we're going to build. So here we are at a waterfall. It has a name, a description, the general location of the waterfall. Each waterfall has a hike difficulty score along with a typical hike duration. The waterfall height is provided. There is an accompanying video. Here are walking and driving instructions. And finally, each waterfall has a link to an official website if known. Wow, that's a lot of information. Thankfully, Drupal makes it efficient to model and display data. Recall that specific fields allow custom data to be collected by Drupal entities. In our case, this waterfall entity is a content type. In Drupal, almost everything is an entity. Fields take care of storing, loading, editing, and rendering custom data. Let's get an overview of all the waterfall fields. Eventually, this is what we're going to build out. But for now, first, we need to create the waterfall content type. So follow along with me, and in the admin toolbar, hover on Structure, Content Types, then click on Add Content Type. For the name, type Waterfall. And for the description, enter a listing for a waterfall. Great! Here below the description, we have the overall settings that will affect every waterfall content type. Remember these? Submission form settings. Publishing Options, Display Settings, and Menu Settings. Starting at Submission Form Settings, let's make the title field label to be Waterfall Name. Keep the Preview Before Submitting as optional. Next, let's work under Publishing Options. Deselect the Promoted to Front Page option. We don't need that. Do keep Published as the default selected. Be sure that Create New Revision is selected. Then, under Display Settings, uncheck the setting to Display Author and Date Information, since we don't need to display that. Now, finally, under Menu Settings, Uncheck the main navigation option. There should not be any available menu selected. We do not want content editors to be able to add waterfall content directly to site menus. And configuring the waterfall menu settings in this way prevents content authors from adding waterfalls directly to menus. As we'll learn when we study menus, it is still possible to add waterfall content to menus it's just a different process and permission which handles doing that. Well, this is all for now. Click save. Fantastic. In the upcoming videos, we'll add the fields to the waterfall content type. Nice work. See you soon.